Okay, for this next project, we are in installing this winch onto my 20 foot trailer. Uh, it's a 9,000 pound winch, uh, which is a little bit overkill for the trailer. I think the trailer is a total of 11,000 pounds maybe, but um, is designed to, to, to haul the power wagon. So. Uh, I will be using this to uh, do some recoveries and uh, we'll see what projects are coming up in store. So first thing, uh, I was given this steel beam and this looks like a really good prospect uh, for mounting this and I'm not going to mount this to the bottom yet. Right now I'm just uh, taking measurements. The um, fair lead is going to fit right on here. So I have marked where the bottom bolts are going to go. And this is where this is where it's going to line up and uh, I want to get everything measured and lined up first um, you know, this may not be quite right I'll have to double check that but um, this is for sure the center uh, do all my measurements before I, gosh, I've got to drill through this crap. That's not going to be fun. Um, and basically, I'm going to bolt this through the wood. And then, uh, I'm going to weld some reinforcements along there. And that should be plenty strong. Uh, I've got a battery for the winch. It'll also double as uh, our bedding for the um, trailer brakes. Um, I'm gonna take this off and make a battery box to fit right about here. So um, I'll come back when uh, I've got some battery box looking material. Right, so what do we think about putting it right there? have to figure out something to cover it with, like plastic or something, but decided to move back three quarters of an inch so that uh, more of the holes, which will be bolts going through, will hit the uh, steel frame underneath. I think that'll make it a lot more sturdier-ish. Here the next step. I. Uh, I've got grade eight bolts going through the wood and uh, and frame if frame is available um, to hold this this piece on. Then I'm gonna weld this angle iron from here to here. So that will be the next step.
Okay, welded, cleaned, painted, ready to assemble. Um, I do have the correct bolts, uh, grade eight bolts to mount the beam to the floor. I'm still waiting on the four. I had to get longer. They're, they're metric size bolts to hold the actual hoist on there. So we finally got everything together. Uh, original battery turned out to be no good. It was probably 10, 12, 15 years old. I decided just to put a metal strap around it to hold it in. It should be fine. Uh, it comes with a uh, shutoff. Here's where I mounted it. Uh, the power for the electric brakes does not go through the switch. Um, it's wired directly to the battery. So that works. Uh, let's see. I don't think there's anything else that I haven't covered. Yeah, I need to spray a little extra paint on my welds down there to protect them. Um, but yeah. Already did our first recovery. Thank you. 